Welcome back fellow gamers to another video brought to you by Old Crew Gaming. In this video we're going to continue our journey on Tavern Master. If you like today's video don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us a lot. I'm your host The Real Zep Zing and let's get into it. So let's have a little uh, rundown of what we've been doing previously. On this uh, ground floor we have our research area that keeps the research for these uh, in the research fee rolling. We have a kitchen and a like a takeout area. Oh yeah, I forgot what they're called then. So I've got a takeout area. We have our bar. We've recently un unlocked like the toilet area, so we've had to put toilets in, which seem to be functioning pretty well. We have an outdoor seating area on the actual building, but we also have the uh, like the garden, which we've recently unlocked again that we've built. Uh, this guy's a little bit unhappy. Let's uh, increase his salary to keep him working. Um, everything seems to be running smoothly down here. We've kind of mimicked the um, the layout for the floor one. But instead of having a research area, we've got a brewery, which seems to be working again fairly well. Um, it automatically keeps all the bars stocked up. Um, again, we've got a kitchen, a little outdoor seating area. And now we have a second floor well a third floor but they call it floor two which again i've kind of mimicked the layout somewhat but um like we have a research area down here we have a brewery here and we haven't really got anything to put in this area yet so um we should just get a bit more seating in i guess uh what we're going to do is we're going to build up a little bit of money just see how things run make sure all our customers are happy well fed and have drinks and things like that while continuing with all our research, um, all our quests, and get down here actually. I'm not sure if we'll have time now. We can send a little mission out. No, this one. Ah, oh, we can. Keep making sure you're sending out these adventurers uh, to build up the ingredients that you need because uh, we'll. Uh, we'll it helps you plan events look like those adventure resources are the ones you need for these events so sometimes when doing your research uh you'll need like um special guests like these you'll need golds and royals um on this one you need rares and royals so being able to i mean you do get them somewhat passively but Uh, so you get them somewhat passively, but you get like uh, 250 gold ones here, 90 rare and a royal here. So being able to do these um, events really helps and speed it up. So we'll just kick off the next day. Oh, I didn't really see if uh, we had any angry customers. I guess, uh, I guess we'll just run this day through. And... Uh, Check the review at the end of the day after that. Make sure staff's happy. Refill drinks. Have a hotel room. Okay, it's so. Um, so we won't be able to do, unless we build one hotel room on this floor, just, just to get the quest done and have a feel to how we're going to build it. I guess we can do that actually. So if we do build, get rid of that. If we do the floor texture. If we put the kitchen door there, there, and then and then if we do, 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 do that with me guys.
No, no, don't want to do that. Make it a bit darker. That's going to be our hotel room, I guess. And then, oh, back into build. So if we do floor texture, build. Looking anywhere right now. Yeah. Now if we do... similar layout except we're going to be having a hotel room there right, let's continue this day out if this room works once we do build it the next floor we unlock will be the full hotel by the inn and I'll turn this into seating, I guess. For the bar. I have to start placing some windows in and things so I can start putting some decor in at some point. Right, did we have any angry customers? No. So things are running pretty smooth now. Right, 36k. Gonna run a few days through, earn some money, and then we can furnish this floor out. So I'm gonna get to about 50, 60k, and then we'll uh, have a little go at. Oh, actually. Need to unlock unlimited kitchens as well. So, what I'll do is I'm going to pause it here, run a few days through, unlock the kitchen so I can build a kitchen, build a hotel room, and build this floor. And build, like, while I'm building up a bit of money, uh, we'll do that together. So, I'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We're going to cut back in now. We've made a little bit of money. Um, but what I want to show you is I had a little bit of a mess around with. How I can fit as many beds and as much things as I can into a hotel room to, you know, make it five star. I had a little bit of a mess about with with the price, and I've come up with like 335, like is the best price to charge for a bed, like in terms of getting people in and cost. I mean, I could make it cheaper and fill them up more, but I think that that's a good price. I mean, out of the two, four, six eight nine beds we've got we've got six guests so can't really grumble at that um but i've what i've done is i've put many pictures as i can in a bit of decorations in all the stuff i need to make it five star i followed the guide here that tells you what you need and i think i've somewhat maximized the trustees there may be a few tweaks here and there but i've got as much as i can in the two by three to get as much prestige as I can out of it now what I'm tempted to do rather because we have two floors up two functional floors for the bar and we have an outside seating area as well like a garden I'm tempted to just make so one two three four five six seven eight hotel rooms in here mimicking this kind of layout and uh, seeing if it's more profitable to have like a full in floor but that that'll that'll come like i'll decide that like shortly or when i up, up the next floor i may have two floors of inns but uh i'll show you how it runs like i i've put two cleaners here 
Uh, they have probably actually cleaned the bedroom. But what they do is they, once the guests leave, they clean it ready for the next guest. So things are still running smooth now. Research is coming on. Oh, I can actually un unlock the next boss once I've done this kitchen. Because we get a basement as well, so in the basement I can I'll kind of turn it half into a games room, half into a bar. So we're going to have like three floors and a garden. So yeah, I may do two rooms of inns. Research done. Let's start the next floor, eh? How many guests we get today on this? Uh, we got one. He rested early. <clears throat> Two, three, four, five, six. Any more? No. So we get an average of six, which 2,000 per room. Now what I'm going to do is I will build Nope, that door needs to go over there So maybe we need to make a little change here Move these out for now. The next day I can start it. Just so they can get out. So we'll start the next day. What we're gonna do. Is. So what we'll try and do is mimic this room, see how much it costs. Ah, so, da Germania. Ah, 
Right, let me make a different room, see what how much he costs. So we have 38,000. bed. I think that's everything, so now we can start putting it in curtains. Trying to mimic the room I did to the left here. I think that that's kind of the best for prestige. Get the most out of the beds in the room, etc. etc. Uh, we need a light. We carpet. I put carpets in. And back into decoration for pictures. There we go. Two rooms exactly the same, pretty much. Cleaners doing their thing. Let's run a day through and see if both rooms work. So it costs almost 30k to, to build a room like this. Give or take, I mean, how much have we spent? 33k. It costs 33.6k to build a room like that. <clears throat> make sure everything's running right and then i'll probably cut it earn some money and then we'll build the full hotel in i think we, we should call it there's like uh tavern in makes sense
Some of these guys look like they're uh, getting a little impatient. I don't know why. What are these guys doing? Cleaning food. Give these food duties as well as cleaning. And what are these doing? No angry customers as of yet. <clears throat> These are fully focused on food, so I guess it takes them a while to get back. So what we'll do is we'll put the yeah we'll do I think we'll we'll leave it at that. These guys are doing yep we'll run it again. I could probably fit another room in here and have like go away from one into the other, but would I? Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's maximize it. One extra room at the end of the day. At the end of the day. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. But what I will do is I will put one there, one there. Didn't even realize I'd unlocked the uh, them. Well, I did, but I didn't, if that makes sense. Uh, gonna have to have more cleaners, but that's gonna be the layout for my hotel. Let's put some windows in where they should be. Window, 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 window. That's kind of gonna be the layout, as you can see. There's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six more rooms mimicking this one. So I need to make. 33k times 6 is what? 150, 160 some K. So, it's going to be a lot of days played to, to do this. Then I need it, like I say, I'm going to put extra stuff in. Probably move them because I don't want them covering the doorway. I'll have center, I don't know, decorations and stuff in here for, for the prestige and whatnot.
but yeah you can kind of see what i'm going for and i will probably build the next floor up the exact same as this so we need to make quite a bit of money and now we have two rooms so let's see how many guests We have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen guests. So six in one, seven in the other. Not bad, not bad. So I'm gonna run a day, run the days through, guys, earn some cash, and then we'll get to building the inn. So be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. I've done a little bit of building. I've mimicked each each of the rooms I originally built. Built a couple more. I have space for two more rooms. I've put a bit of decorations in the hallway and such. I did unlock the third floor, or fourth floor, should I speak, uh, say, which is floor three. I've done the layout to mimic again the the, whole, the inn, because I will probably run two inns. But what I may do initially is I might put some more researchers in, because um, to get these research now done is requiring a lot of research points, and the initial six i have on the ground floor or eight sorry uh slow so this is like a little tip a little trick as, as you will to to get fast research points so what i'll do is i'll use maybe two of these rooms get a couple more researchers in which i'll do now so if we go into is it decorations or is it special there we go I'm not going to put decorations or anything in. I'm literally just going to... And then decorations is the bookshelf, right? Yep. Yeah. And then we'll go into research. We'll get a couple more cleaners as well for the whole for the inn. Mood is not affected by cleaning, these are the ones we want. And what we'll do No drinks, no food, no takeout. I don't really think it matters what stats you give these because uh, these cleaners are solely to do the in for OCD purposes. I'm going to put them like I would any other cleaner. No takeout, no food, no drink. I'm keeping the third level on, like two and three, because eventually. On this third floor, there's going to be her, uh, rooms, so I want them both to, to clean both floors. Like eight should be plenty to do two floors. So, as you can see, most beds are full. Hope the inn's working as intended. Um, let's start the next day and see what we earn from the inn. So, 37 rooms, 12k. 
that like that that's just like 12k cash at the start of every day by having those rooms so add another two onto that floor let's say another 3k so 15k and then having the the top floor done so i'm going to be do netting like 30k a day basically just free money and then having floor one floor zero and then the garden area um acting as as the tavern and then when we get the basement i build like a games room and half of it into a tavern so we've got more tavern there as well Dessert. As you can see, like when I have been off, like this, these research points now should go down really quick. 24 researchers. I mean, you can have as many researchers as you want. You could fill up. Full... I've done a video prior to this, which I may link in the description, but I had a full floor of researchers, and these research points just like went down instantly almost. As you can see, like 4,500, 3,000, 5k, 5k, 5k. It takes a lot of research points to uh, get these last couple of um, unlocks in the research tree. So, I mean, even when I build this into an inn, I may keep these. I may even put more researchers in. We'll see how fast the research goes down. Uh, and then as I come towards the end of getting all these research unlocked, I can like get rid of the researchers and turn them into inns, into rooms. So, <clears throat> oh, I didn't do any. Uh... Let's have a look. <clears throat> After paying all all the staff and everything, I'm making like nearly 17k income, like profit per day, and that's a big chunk of that's from having the inn built, like the rooms. So uh, the more rooms I get, the more income daily that I'm, I'm going to be turning over. I forgot to change the menu. Is a see if I remember after this one. As you can see, I can probably put the prices up of my drinks and stuff now. When um, I change these before I forget, I can probably put the prices up for my drinks. Maybe if I if I tinker with what I'm selling most and mess around with the drink prices i maybe uh i might be able to make even more money i get an elite waitress shortly got quite a lot of uh, unlock beer still to get i need to focus on these quests now teaching items level three be able to upgrade all the kitchen stuff and uh, hopefully pump out more food keep the customers even more happy <clears throat> as you can see like this was 5k 5000 it's already ticking down pretty quick and i've only got what did i say 8, 16 24 researchers at this point The brewery seems to be working fantastic. It's keeping every bar stock. Um, everybody seems to be happy. Uh, the customers seem to be happy that I'm serving on a regular daily basis. 
I am getting quite a lot of custom, like as you can see, most tables and most most everything is almost full. Not now because it's coming to a close, but everything seems to be coming like working nicely. So 1170 almost just from having 24 researchers and that's just from one day so imagine if you have a whole floor of that you can literally get them done in a day i imagine uh, let's have a look at our um, in bed there empty bed there empty bed there oh quite a few beds empty today wonder why maybe just an unlucky day so what did we have 32 in the hotel yesterday what do we have today no chance these guys are getting in Thirty-two. 32. Oh, so we had the same amount of guests for the last two days I wonder why that is a couple less than I normally get Organizing event. What what do we need? Ooh, royal. We'll do a king and queen feast then, eh? I may quickly just uh, do the in rooms here, so. Yeah, well, let's, let's go ahead and build these two rooms. I think I've got enough cash to do it. So, bed. Go bed. decorations we put these um, telescopes in get a bit more uh, prestige while we're in here we have curtains where are they go there we go This takes a quick minute, guys, but it's all about getting that prestige at this point. And then what we do is we'll do white in here. And then change it to black for this room. There we go. And then what we do is we This one over a lot. So the wall is the one that needs to be down here. Mm. 
There we go. takes a minute guys but as you can see you, you, all you're trying to do in these rooms is fill as much of the space up as you can you know like i say it's, it's a good way of getting your prestige built up by building these inns like the these rooms that's about it and then all we do oh we need um that's the thing so if you need to know what you need to build guys like uh here i'm missing a light so if you just put lights in turns them into five stars then and we just change the price for each of these beds You can actually leave these lower if you want to make sure that you get the beds filled. But I think um, having them at 335 gives you a 66% chance. So it's like uh, two out of every three slots should get filled on a daily basis. So what we'll do when we finish this guys is we'll run a day just to show you how things work and to the end what we'll show you how many of the beds get filled up and then i'll probably call this video As you can see, every room's fully complete. Our prestige is nice. The money we gain is pretty good. We've got more researchers up here doing their job. The brewery seems to be working. I've had no issues with the bar. Haven't yet, for a while, had any angry customers. Keep making sure you send out your adventurers daily to pick up the, any ingredients that you're short on. Keep making sure you're keeping an eye on your research. Make sure you're keeping an eye on your quests and doing any quests that you can. Oh yeah, I've got a, a special event. I might run tomorrow as well then, just so we, we get the special event out of the way. The only trouble when it rains is your garden doesn't get any um, business in it. Like any custom, but that's to be expected. There should be a way to put like parasols or some sort of roofing over it, even though it is outdoors. Okay, let's have a look at the room. Two empty beds there, one empty bed, one empty bed. Wow. Or maybe because we built that on this day, so this, 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 these two aren't getting used, but I mean, in all, most of the beds do get used, so we'll start this day off and we'll run it, see if the n two new rooms actually get any, um, any custom. So we've got an elite waitress now, where should we put her? That's the question.
I guess. I guess we'll have her on the ground floor doing a bit of everything including the garden so let's go into here we'll hire her and then we'll go with staff where is she There she is. So we want her doing just the ground floor and the garden. Just a bit of everything, really. Where's my other elite? What's she doing? Give her garden duties. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take her tell off then. Hotel off. There we go. So I've got two elites on the ground floor. Doing a bit of everything, so that should keep it topped up for me. Mm -hmm. We've completed here. So, gold customers. Day looks like it was a success. Oh, not keeping an eye on staff, though, am I? It's all the new ones, I just I think. Need to keep them happy because I think they perform better. I'm not sure it would make sense though. A quick look to everybody else while I'm here. Everybody else seems to be happy. Henry needs leveling up. Isaac needs some more cash. There we go. Oh, running on another day, aren't I? Buy ingredients, level up and buy and 42k. Probably do that by building some more rooms actually upstairs, but. I didn't even see how many of the hotel rooms were full last time, or even if the two new rooms had um, customers in them. Like, as you can see, guys, there's like literally the bars run them like the 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 tavern now kind of runs itself. I've got the brewery keeping the the bars stocked. I have the kitchens working, so everybody's getting drinks, everybody's getting food. So the bar, the, the tavern itself is running itself now. Um, the hotel, now I have the um, staff cleaning and keeping it on top of them. Kind of runs itself. I could literally just run day after day after day now. And, and apart from the odd fire that I would have to, to fix, um, I think looking at it, it's running smooth. I'm having no problems. Uh, the layout I've chosen. It may not be the best in the world. People may come up with crazy builds that get as much customers as you can per room, per floor on your tavern. Like, I'm running two bars. You could potentially get away with just running one bar if you have more staff. I don't know. Like, like some of these big, big brain guys that, that want to maximize prestige and 
income daily. Uh, there may be videos out there about that, but what I have runs perfect for, for what I need, so. So guys, as you can see, everything's... Oh, we had 50 in our hotel last time, so I'm guessing the two rooms are working now, yeah? So everything's running smooth. So thank you for taking your time and watching the video. If you like what you've seen, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help us a lot. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.